What's going on you guys? Lipman Tuck here with another review and today I'm going to be reviewing book three, Everybody Loves Large Chest. And I'm telling you, man, this is like one of the funniest series that I've ever read. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. And I apologize for my last book review, man. It messes about two minutes. I didn't mean to do that. It's just like none of these uh, book reviews I, I don't mean to do. I just hop on and I start reviewing. You know what I'm saying? But it was only two minutes. It was like a short review. And it's been a while since I've been on it. But I am back, folks. So let's talk about Let's get right into book three. So just to recap on book two. Boxy was caught at the end. He was in the neighborhood. It was in a neighborhood setting or a village setting. And he was caught at the end. He was interrogated by a high level spy who was level 100, had Boxy scared out of his mind. And um, towards the end, you know, he was interrogated. It was pretty funny. And then the God of probability came in and busted him out of the jail just for fun, just for his causes. And so that's where the book kind of left off. He was busted out of jail. You go into book three and at the beginning, they're trying to figure out how we got out and they don't know. And it's funny because they are blaming it on the elves. Like elves are just a very, normally they're very sexy creatures. Uh, they're very, uh, they're a very sexy race, a very long lived race. And they're, they're kind of idolized and, and they're put on a pedestal. In this series, the elves are are almost bottom rung, and a lot of you know they suffer from a lot of racism, and people give them a hard time, man. So it's a little bit different. So hey, let's blame it on the elves, even though they're not dark elves. And so the spy and his and his peeps, they're trying to figure out what the hell happened, how the box to get out. It's kind of weird how he escaped, and uh, that part is pretty funny. But fast forward on to Boxy. He has escaped with the gnome, uh, Fizzle, Fizzle Sprocket or whatever, and she's an artificer. So at this point, he does not trust her. The God of Probability puts them on a mission to say, hey, man, you got to go here. You got to do this and that. You got to kill a lich. And Box is like, all right, whatever. And he takes he takes uh, Fizzle Sprocket with him. And so, you know, they're they're going to this mission and they're trying to, you know, they're killing monsters. But at the same time, Boxy's like, OK. She has to get stronger because she's a paladin and I need her powers. And he is a amoral freaking monster with no compassion. So he's not just training her. He is basically, um, you know, farming for her. He's leveling her up. He's taking her on the trip and he's, uh, you know, bringing animals to near death and, he, and he's forcing her to kill those animals. And she's not a killer. And, but he's constantly making her kill. He's desensitizing her. If she doesn't do what she said, do what he says, he abuses her. He kicks her. He punches her. And like when I say this on YouTube, it sounds freaking terrible. And it it is terrible. It's very it's very horrible. But you got to keep in mind, folks. This is a book. It is a story. It's comedic. This book. Um, it is very. It's a very uh like graphic, very uh edgy rated. X, I don't even know what the hell is rated, but it's a very edgy book. It could offend some, and it has a certain type of uh, lowbrow humor um, in there. And so just keep that in mind. Like, uh, But but the way he's training her, he's just an amoral box, and he's a couple of months old. So imagine being trained by a toddler. If you don't do something, psh, you get hit. You get smacked down. And so she's beat to the point to where she's like, OK, I'll do whatever I need to do. I don't want to get beat down all the time, man. And so she's getting a little better. She's a gnome. And uh, there's one part where she says, hey, you know, like she's getting beat and she's like, hey, you know what? I just don't like killing. I don't want to be mean and this and that. And Boxy, you know, hit her with some game. He's like, no, you are being mean. You don't kill them fast. Like you don't put them out of their mis misery. And he says it's not tasty. And if you've been following this stuff, man, tasty could mean all sorts of stuff. So she takes his ass. Ooh, you know what? It's not tasty as it's not good. It's a bad thing. He's literal, literal about it being tasty. He's like, look, when you stress these animals out and you don't kill them, when I eat them, they don't taste good. It's not tasty. And so I love it how it has the double meaning. But fast forward, man, he's able to, um, he kills the lich, he completes the mission, he gets his powers back, he's able to summon the demons again, but now he also has the lich as one of his uh, familiar, and let's go back to book one, this is the same lich that he killed at the beginning of the book, and so he has two demons, a lich, and a gnome on his team, and he's walking around and just going crazy, and so he gets to another part to where he has to fight, uh, he goes into... Let's see here. It's the doors. 
he goes into their domain and um, it's, it's a dwarven god. And so he's very organized and he has a very powerful uh, structure. They have golems and there's one super funny part where the demon messes up and he's like, look, I'm going to give you all the 411 on these golems. When you go in there, you know, you can fight them. But if you break their shafts, they get very, they get very angry. And I'm not even going to tell you the rest of what happens with that. But you go and trip out. Um, oh, my God. There's so much funny and inappropriate stuff in there. Uh, you know, Operation Operation Tasty Cock. Um, and it's an acronym. And I'm not even going to I'm not even going to tell you what that acronym is. You just have to go and read the book and see what the hell he's talking about. And I don't read, man. I just do audible now. Don't have time to read. Um, fast forward a little bit. So he, he is straight to the point. There's no melodrama, no nothing. He just wants to go and complete the mission. So he fights uh, this one structure, very organized dwarven god. And the, and the god spent a lot of time making this fool. And the fool was very powerful. But what he didn't count on is Boxy before that, uh, putting a bunch of scales, spells together and putting a bunch of mana in it. He's saving up all this, like tons of mana. He's basically made magical grenades. And so he goes in there, fights the golems. He gets to the end and, and um, you know, he gets to the final boss and he's like, hey, you know, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to do this and that. And while he's talking out of nowhere, Boxy doesn't even listen to him. He just throws the bomb at him and the guy catches. He's like, what is this? Boom. It just blows up. He kills him within seconds. It's, it's very anticlimactic. It's very, very funny because the, the Dwarven guy gets mad. He's like, hey, man, he's cheating. And they have film. They have to roll back the film because he goes to. The, the god of probability and he's complaining he's like look man your your uh your person your champion killed my stuff in like seconds that's cheating and then they they play back the film and uh they saw they was like no nah, he wasn't cheating he just blew him up and your stuff sucked so fast forward to that man he keeps killing he keeps eating and he ranks up he ranks up to where he turns into a doppelganger and so this is a total difference for him but he's able to infiltrate uh more uh, he goes, he does more killing, he does more eating, more inappropriate, very inappropriate business. And then towards the end, it is one of, to me, it is one of the best, most epic summonings in history. I'm telling you. And uh, when I say epic, I mean totally ridiculous and totally funny. And it perfectly matches Boxy's personality. So anyway, man, that's my review on book three. I'm back and I'm not doing any more two minute drills or anything like that. And I'm going to post on here when I post on here. I'm not going to promise every day. It might be once a day. It might be once a week. It might two weeks might go by, man. But I'm going to post and I'm going to bring it to you, man, and give you a good idea. And so hopefully this helps you make a decision on uh, getting the book. If you haven't got the first one yet, make sure you go back and get the first one and start from the beginning. That's all I got today, man. Lip Band Tuck, and I'm out.